The fate of Albania is carried indoors for the count. These ballot boxes should have arrived an hour earlier, but the two main parties, Socialists and Democrats, decided to extend voting and appealed to voters to turn out. Only around 45% of them did so. That is at least a disappointment to the outgoing Socialists, whose goal was to galvanize the country into granting them an outright majority. This voter says that since both top parties are pro-European, they should stop fighting. Voting's been smooth, but there are rumours both socialists and democrats are bribing people to vote for them. Eddie Rama is against small parties, but never until now has a single party won an election outright. So I think it's very reasonable for the socialists and democrats to collaborate. The campaign has been acrimonious. Politicians may have undermined their own legitimacy by accusing each other of corruption. Where there's smoke, there's fire. But I believe with the new reforms, the corruption problems will be resolved. The socialists have passed reforms to root out corrupt judges by probing into how they acquired their wealth. They've also barred felons from holding political office. But implementing these measures will require a strong government. A low turnout undermines the legitimacy of whoever is elected. In Albania, that could mean a repeat election or a stalling of reforms and the country's fragile European trajectory. That is what happened in neighboring former Yugoslav Macedonia just weeks ago when activists broke into parliament to intimidate the government-elect into not assuming office. Some say the fear of political instability here has sobered politicians up. It, make, it made the political class more responsible and it made people more attentive and, and thankful to what is happening and uh, everybody in Albania three months ago, four months ago was talking that we have to avoid what's happening there. If no one has won Albania's election outright, it may be time for a grand coalition to lift this struggling nation out of poverty and into the EU. Jamsaropoulos, Al Jazeera, Tirana.